Welcome everyone to beautiful Henderson, Nevada and this home for sale behind me here with a pool sized backyard. My name is Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas and I can't wait to show you this home today. It's four bedroom, four bath listed for $679,000. It's just under 3000 square feet, it has the two car garage, two story, massive laundry room, wonderful balcony and uh, that pool sized backyard. So follow me. Let's go take a look. Okay, everyone, here we are, this beautiful two-story home built in 2017. You can see the paver driveway and the pavers kind of wrap around the front there, this stone elevation, more of a modern style garage door or just kind of featureless and then a little bit of the uh, elevation on the right side as well. Take a quick peek down this side and you'll see it's just the, uh, just the gate there. Uh, going back, but again, pavers all the way back, which is real nice. So it's been fully pavered all the way around. The landscaping's been fully completed, obviously, 2017. Um, but it is a newer home, feels new. So a nice desert landscape, kind of a mix of rock there. And we'll go around the front and take a look here. And it is a corner, corner lot, corner home here. Some planters up the side, again, desert landscape, and your wall starts a little early, give you some privacy coming around and more of that elevation. All right, as we walk in here, you'll just see a really big open floor plan. Um, dining area right immediately to your left, uh, and then see the texture on the wall. Uh, that skip trow, uh, skip trow texture is really nice. So kind of have some two tones on the wall, uh, actually a three tone. You have the white baseboards and more of a tan with the, with the nice blue. So that's going to be the main living area kitchen, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. Your stairs are going to be right off the entryway to the right. And then you have the, uh, this closet here, which is a coat closet and this closet under the stairs. You can put a bar across here to hang coats on if you like, and then you also have all the storage there as well. So downstairs, you're also gonna have uh, this closet here, which is technically the other coat closet. Uh, I didn't realize there was two, so I guess you don't have to add the coat thing there. Uh, and a half bath, guest bath, powder room uh, for your guests so they don't have to use uh, the other bathroom that's downstairs, which we'll see in just a moment. But again, built in 2017, everything feels very new. Doesn't feel very lived in at all. Um, really nice tile throughout the downstairs. Uh, you can see it switched to carpet on the stairs and carpet into the bedrooms. And then they did uh, upgrade to this railing instead of the pony wall, which kind of opens up the area as well. Uh, right here, especially. And then when we're upstairs in the loft, you'll see where that's a big difference. Standard height on these doors. So just a standard height door there. And we're walking back into the downstairs bedroom. So there is a bedroom that's downstairs and it does have a full bath on it. So, um, you know, it, it is great for uh, resale value, having the option for someone to just stay downstairs all the time. And having the bedroom downstairs, uh, a lot of people will use it as an office as well if they don't need it as a bedroom, but a lot of good uh, benefit to having this. And then it does have its own full bath as well. Not a huge bath, but just, you know, the big shower, we call it a three quarters bath, the shower, toilet, just the sink. So, I mean, pretty standard setup. Looking great though. Very good, very good. So we come out here. And we're going to head up the stairs now. And again, that railing really kind of opens up the area so you don't feel closed in as you're kind of going up the stairs. And then this is where it really pays off is when you get to the top of the stairs and it's all open instead of a wall blocking all of this off. Just gives it a totally different feel. They painted these kind of indentions uh, with the uh, blue there. And then have the loft set up with probably a couch and a TV, maybe a game room up here. Does have a ceiling fan. And this loft is about 15 by 12 is my guess. I need to start bringing my little measure so I can guess and then measure it. See if I'm right. Seen a lot of these. I've seen enough of these. A lot is an understatement, but I should be able to guess pretty well. 
but we never know until we try. So this is the upstairs full bath shared by the two bedrooms that are upstairs. Remember four bedroom, four bath. So we already saw two bathrooms downstairs with one bedroom downstairs. This is gonna be the third bathroom. And your standard fare but upgrade. I mean, the countertops are really nice. The sinks are really nice undermount sinks. Um, upgraded faucets as well. Moen faucets are they, you know, they are the, the shiny kind of chrome look, which isn't um, super popular, but you know, uh, I think it's actually coming back over stainless, believe it or not. So again, everything comes back in time. You just wait long enough. There we go. Nice tile uh, tub there, and then this uh, more tile on the floor. So any of the wet areas are gonna have this really nice tile that we saw downstairs. And then that brings us across to this massive laundry room. Uh, the light's on the sensor, so it turns itself off. Um, washer, dryer, cabinets overhead, nice table area, cabinets, and then as you come back here, there's just tons of storage. So I love this. This is just a huge storage area for linens, uh, extra clothes, whatever you need. So just plenty of room and one of the bigger laundry rooms you're going to see. I mean, honestly, even, even a 5,000 square foot home, you don't see laundry rooms this big a lot of the time. Uh, and then you just have two bedrooms over here in the, in the end. Um, they're about, about 11 by 11s, not huge bedrooms, but definitely not small. Plenty of room for a queen bed and some furniture. You could do a king bed, but it, it would be pretty big in this size of a room. Ceiling fan, so pretty standard fare. And then you kind of have an identical room here in size and shape. This one might be a little bit bigger, um, but you know maybe a touch narrower, so. But yeah, really nice rooms. And again, super clean house. It feels like it was almost not lived in, uh, which is great. And then coming across, oh, real quick. So a lot of times on these lofts, when you have a wall like this that's uh, removed and you have the railing instead of the pony wall, they'll go ahead and give you a plug in the floor. So whatever you need to plug in over there, maybe behind the couch, you can do that, a lamp. And that's gonna bring us back to the primary bedroom. Really large primary bedrooms, tall ceilings upstairs. So I believe these are gonna be eight foot ceilings upstairs. Couple windows, plenty of natural light. And that'll bring us over into this uh, primary bathroom, which is a really large primary bathroom. We have the two sinks separated by the giant tub in the middle. We have the shower on the right side here. So you have the walk-in standing shower and then this massive soaking tub. I mean, that thing is super wide, super, super deep and comfy. Um, and then the same kind of countertops and cabinets we've seen throughout. This window is also frosted and they have the blinds if you want to block out some of the light. Uh, the water closet back here with a door for privacy. And it's kind of a big space over here too. I mean, you could also put something over there, I'm sure. Uh, I feel like, you know, there's plenty of room to do something over there if you want to. And then the closet here with the lights on a timer as well and just a massive walk-in closet here for the primary. Um, tons of, of shelf space and rails to hang clothes on and just a really, really good sized closet here. That feels good. All right, and then that's about it for, whoa, we almost forgot the balcony. Holy cow, how did we forget that? I mean, how did I forget that? I'm blaming you guys. You just got here. All right, so. Walk out on this balcony and it's just really open. I mean, you're high up here. You can see the mountains in the distance. Um, super bright, sunny day, end of October here. See Halloween decorations out. So the gate to the community is gonna be right there. Um, this is kind of the south side of Henderson. And then over this way is where the Costco and the Raiders Prax facility are gonna be. Um, and then, you know, Las Vegas is that direction. So. And I believe oh, you're just missing views of the strip. Something's blocking it, but it's really right over there. And then you'll see that big pool sized backyard. We'll go take a look at it in a moment. But, and this balcony is actually really huge. I mean, I, I don't know what you're going to put out here, but it, it's gigantic. I mean, you could have a pool table and chairs and I mean, just it's large. Okay.
So anyways, cruising back across and downstairs. I'm gonna take a quick peek at this kitchen and living area. See what's going on over there. And they did leave the curtains and the wall, uh, obviously all the window coverings, but the curtains stay as well and they match the home really, really well also. Um, so we walk into the big open kitchen here in the big open living area. TV would kind of go on that wall there. Um, they've kind of got the, the island painted. This, uh, you see this a lot. It's kind of this, this black and white uh, marble, I'm sorry, marble granite with the little purple kind of wine stains in it. It's real popular, it looks really nice. The dark cabinets, plenty of cabinet space. I mean, the cabinets just go on and on and on. Black appliances, which, you know, everyone likes the stainless. I think in this layout, it really works with the black. They just blend in like they're almost not even there. Super shiny and clean, which is great. Uh, all GE appliances here, gas stove. Big GE double refrigerator, GE double oven, and just tons and tons of space. And we walk back here, and for some reason I didn't turn this light on. And it's just like a little kind of uh, area to set your stuff down on, um, storage area. You could use that as a little bar area. You have this area here. I mean, there's just so much space in this house to do things with. And then this light's on a timer. And that's going to be your pantry. So you have plenty of space in the pantry. And they actually put this uh, paper down, which kind of gives it a nice design and protects the cabinets. Very nice. And this door is going to take us to the out, to the out, to the, into the garage. They've epoxied the floor, which is great. Again, lights on a timer and they have one of those real bright garage lights, but just a super big, clean two car garage. They have the water heater tucked away. And then just a little water softener area here. Other than that, you're free roam in the garage and uh, you know, park two pretty good sized vehicles in here. I mean, obviously whatever stuff you have, but uh, not too much room on this side. You have some room on that side and you could definitely do some kind of a storage area or workbench or something if you needed to and still park the car. So good sized garage. That vent looks like it's done really well. I like to see that. And we're gonna head back through. So yeah, so that's the kitchen area. Um, very functional, very nice, huge countertop. They have the water filtration system, um, the sink as well, the, the faucet. Dishwashers on this side, black as well. They do have the uh, USBs in some of the plugs here, including that one, which is a great place for it. And then this big open living space here uh, with the doggy door also. Big window looking out back. And let's, uh, speaking of out back, let's go take a look. I didn't actually go out here yet because I was looking from upstairs, but we do have this uh, overhang. There's lights, there's a ceiling fan. They have a TV mounted, which they left for you, which is wonderful. Um, all these pavers, so just a really nice area. And then they also have these blinds that pull down so you can block the sunlight because I'm guessing in the afternoon is when it kind of drops um, or maybe just even like right now, if you're trying to sit here and eat lunch, you'd pull that down and get yourself some shade. Backyard done very nice, very clean. AC unit, less than six years old. Uh, double units there, real clean, kind of in the corner in its own area here. Um, all these vines growing up the wall. And then this huge pool sized backyard. So there it is. Um, easy access. If you want to install a pool here, it definitely has plenty of space for that. And the roads right here. So, and, and it's a neighborhood road. So you're not going to have like a lot of traffic. It's not that kind of road. It's a gated community, um, but they could pull right up here and it just gives them easy access to this backyard. So um, one of the more convenient yards to add a pool to if you choose to do so. And then, yeah, just some nice paver work, real clean, you have a grass area, desert landscape, got some color, uh, the lighting as well. Looks like this lighting is uh, a low voltage lighting that's plugged in, so you don't have to worry about solar or anything, just uh, should just keep working as long as you don't really mess with it. Um, and then that's the path down the side here, pavers all the way side to side, which is real nice to see. And then this is a gas stove, so you could have your grill um, over in this area if you like. 
I prefer not to have my grill right up next to the house. However, most of these barbecue stubs do come right off of the house there. So ideally what you wanna do is have the line professionally run, which goes pretty deep and then over to like wherever you wanna grill. Cause it's not really advised to have your grill right up against your house. Not only are you gonna have kind of a black area on the outside, I would imagine from smoke. If you have any kind of fire, any kind of situation with your grill, you know, you want some footage between your home and your grill. You don't want your grill blowing up in your family room. So that's just kind of my take on it. But I mean, they're never gonna do that for you. Maybe on some real high end product, but you're always gonna have your stub like kind of like that. That's actually got two. Uh, it's usually just one stub sticking out, but you want to get that professionally ran, you know, to somewhere in a safer area to grill, but enough about the barbecue stub. That's about it guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. If you have any real estate needs looking to buy, sell, invest, have any questions or know anyone looking to do any of those things, please give me a call. My information is at the bottom. If you want to see this house, let me know. I would love to show it to you. Thank you so much. See you on the next tour.